plot arch. For this, you'll need a pencil, a pen, a marker, and something to write on. I like to do it on paper because it lets me feel like I'm literally sketching something out. So the first thing that you're gonna do is create your arch. Mine's a little messy, yours can be too. And that, boys and girls, is your plot. It's just a simple line. We wanna make it a little bit more interesting. So we're gonna turn this flat line into an arch. The way you do that is you draw a line down the middle and two lines off to the side, just like so. What do we have? We have our beginning, your rising action, your climax, your conclusion, and what I like to include, the moral. So there's your plot arch. <laughs> we have the beginning, and that's really going to establish your scene. So it's the baseline. It's going to include your characters. It's going to include what's going on in the scene and what makes it different than any other day for your characters. And it's going to include your characters. Where are they? Uh, that's all going to be established in the very beginning of your scene. Then something happens. That's the what of the scene. And usually you can tell what the what is by asking the question yes or no. Uh, is the character going to get through this okay? Or are they not going to get through this okay? And that's what you're trying to answer throughout the scene. So that starts right at the beginning of your rising action. Then you have a little mini arch. We call that in improv sketches, the game. So different things happen to your characters or happen within your scenes during this game. So let's say that uh, you're walking down the street and your character had a bad day, they were late. So are they going to get to work on time? That's the what in the scene. They're late, are they getting to work on time? So you get to decide as a writer, <laughs> do they get to work on time or are they late and get fired? So what happens on their way to work? They could get stuck in a pothole that literally a hole could open up. They get stuck inside. Inside the hole, there are rat people that come out. That's the second thing that happens. And they steal them away to their land. And then the character becomes the king of the rat people. And so I guess, no, the answer is no. The character doesn't get to work on time. The climax is they're, they turn into the rat king. And then the conclusion is no, they don't get to work on time. And what's the moral of the story? That's for you to decide too. And it really leads what and where your character is going. What, what's going on in your scene? What are you trying to say to your audience? And where is your character going? What's driving your character or characters? This is essentially how you write a plot arch. Through our videos, we're gonna go into detail. So um, in future episodes, we'll go more into the establishing beginning. We'll go more into what is a rising action? What do you talk about in the rising action? What is a game? The climax, what makes a climax? The conclusion, how do you end your scene? And what the moral is of the story. Stay tuned for future episodes. What I want you to do is using your plot arch and understanding how it works, watch a movie, watch some Netflix and see how many shows follow this arch. See if you can plot it out. I want to see a picture of your arch and I want to see it posted, tag us in it and we'll repost it and see how you guys did. Thank you for joining me at the writer's table and I hope to see you next week.